Hello and welcome. So in today's video we are going to be doing our lab number 48. That is using the change mode command. Some people call it chem mode. So for a change we're back on Linux. And we're taking a break from uh, Windows Server and Server Manager. If you want to follow along pretty small instructions basically you go and change the mo uh, file properties or not uh, not properties per se but the access properties who you want to give access who has what type of access uh, just a couple of videos we sh did the uh, full control that was very inadequate because you can do a lot more granular control uh, from Windows GUI. Uh, same thing here. So it's read, write, access for execution. So user, group, object, or I believe it's everyone. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna fire the terminal we're gonna follow in command in the terminal that is basically if we do ls we should have the out.txt we do have if we want the we can see what's inside and looks like it has some kind of output so what we're doing here uh, is change mode g is equal to so g is group and we're giving it just the read permission we're we're being silent for w and x like we're not putting any value and the file name and now the group has what permission they can read it they cannot execute it they cannot edit it they can only read it now if we were to give uh, now we are giving ourselves the user full access that is read write x uh, execute u is equal to r w x comma group uh, has read and execution everyone has nothing more help for more information you what's wrong maybe they have there should be no space I believe yes space was the issue so basically what we have done is for user we give it full access for a group only read and execute and everyone else no no access so there was another switch ls ls l and you can see the um, if you can find the out.txt file that is in the middle right here and you can see so this dash indicates it's a file rwx first set is for user or uh, dash x is for the group and last three are for everyone so it's dashes mean they don't have access now if i were to change it and for example for user i give it this and change it and ls slash l now you can see the difference now this line changed and if you want to do a side by side comparison from the top I don't know if we have enough space here uh, if we have let's right there 
RWX, you can see. So that's how quickly you change it from the terminal. All right, so I hope this video has helped you. I want to change it back. I uh, want to change it back. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see in the next one, I change it to so it can check and give me my credit.